Hey guys, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're on a Generac generator with an Isuzu engine. And we're using the Texas Off Highway here. And we're just going to go through and pick a Isuzu and kind of follow the prompts. This is a tier 4 and self diagnosis. And we're just on an OBD2 connection. And we'll hit confirm. And it's going to ask is the ignition on? Yes, confirm this. And then it's going to take about 30 45 seconds or so to connect here and one thing to keep in mind with these industrial engines on your generators and things like that is sometimes you have to wake the ECM which may be a matter of just bumping the key or if it'll run you know that's always the easiest way and sometimes you may run into them where they actually have a diagnostic mode and you'll have to put that in um, as you can see here we're connected we've got 100 parameters and I'll just kind of scroll down It'll fill in and populate as you make your way down the list, but you can grab them out if you need to. But we'll work our way down here. And this particular one didn't have any fault codes in it, so just kind of going to walk you through the other tabs here. Um, your turbo target positions. Like I say, everything's going to be broke down from PSI, voltages, temperatures, um, percentages, and of course, you know, down towards the bottom, you're going to have your different statuses there. As you can see, the diesel particular diffuser all that information's on there egr positions fuel rail pressures oil levels and i'll just kind of work my way down here okay now over the on the ecu information tab this is generally just going to give you part numbers hardware numbers software versions things like that and activations this is where you can come in here and do your test your cylinder cutoffs your normal regens your slow regens fuel rail pressures, turbocharger boost control statuses, and you just click start if you wanted to start the test at that point. But I'm actually going to go up here into the settings, and this is where you can come in here in the DPD status resetting, and of course you can code your injectors. Thanks for watching.